Thank you for her caring and generous and adventurous spirit. Thank you for her love for the outdoors, for rowing and being out on the water. Thank you for her laughter. Thank you for all that Terry gave to her family, her friends, and to this fellowship of loved ones gathered here today and to the world. Thank you for the precious time with her in this life and for the many memories of her that will never be lost or forgotten. Please comfort Terry's family members now. Thank you for her love for them and their love for her. And comfort Terry's friends as they grieve and as they live life now in her absence. Surround everyone here with your love. And in time, heal the broken hearts who will miss Terry. It has been written that we return to the ground because from the ground you were taken. For you are dust, and to dust you shall return. It is therefore in sure and certain hope of eternal life that we commend to Almighty God our sister, daughter, friend, Terry. And we commit her ashes to the ground and to the sea, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. O merciful God, into your hands we now commend your daughter, Terry Ray Brady. Terry was your creation before she ever walked here with us. She was yours when she lived on this earth, and she is yours still, now and forever. Loving God, receive Terry into the arms of your mercy and prepare a place for her in your peaceable kingdom where death and suffering can no longer touch her. Amen. So I'm gonna, can you guess how I know Terry? <laughs> I'm a rower. <laughs> I'm gonna move this up just a little. So, I met Terry um, not that many years ago, rowing at the Marin Rowing Association, and I did not know the shy, introverted Terry, <laughs> so it's funny to hear stories about that. I knew the super chatty Terry, and good lord, whenever I got together with Terry and Ryle here, I never said a word. She talked forever. It was exhausting. <laughs> Um, Terry was hilarious, and um, I got to spend some good quality time with her and uh, have some funny stories of being with her uh, at the end, too, that uh, always, always, you know, were funny. Um, I brought my guitar up to visit her just a couple days before she passed and played some songs for her in her room. Um, and uh, this song I'm going to play for you brought the biggest smile to her face. And she tried to sing along, which in itself was funny because, uh, <laughs> you know, you think you know the words to a song until you actually have to start singing it. And then you realize, I, I don't know this song at all. Um, she tried and um, she knew the chorus, so she did sing along on the chorus. And so I'm going to invite you all today. Uh, to hum along on the verse, and uh, when we get to the chorus, if it if the mood strikes, sing along. Whoa, that's super loud, huh? Okay.
Faith was strong, but you needed proof. You saw her bathing on the roof. Her beauty and the moonlight overthrew you. She tied you to a kitchen chair. She broke your throne and she cut your hair. And from your lips she drew the heart. You know, I was thinking, Alidra, you've always, as long as I've known you, you talk about uh, my Tracy and my Terry. And I, and I feel like together um, we could all collectively say that um, in having a part of um, Terry's life and your life and your life, Tracy. And so thank you for the privilege and the honor of us um, be all being invited here to celebrate this with you. A very special time. Very special time. Receive the blessing as you go from this place. May you experience peace that passes understanding, love that knows no end, joy in the midst of sorrow, and hope for the life to come. Amen and amen. And friends, I would just like to encourage you as you go to continue telling your stories about Terry and her life. One of the ways that we honor those who are no longer with us is to remember them often and to remember them well. And so I invite you, encourage you as you gather for the reception. What's your favorite story? What's your favorite memory? Go in peace.